Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss how to use Google Cloud Translate API in Angular application to translate text from one language to any other choice of language. Let's browse Google Cloud site to see the instruction to use this API. So let's browse this website. Basically, this document describes everything about Cloud Translation API. The first paragraph describes that the input text can be plain text or HTML. And this API does not translate any HTML text in the input, only text that appears between the text. And another important note that before starting to use translation API you must have a project that has the cloud translation API enabled and you must have a private key with the appropriate credential if you are new in Google Cloud please visit another video where I have discussed how you create a project how you enable cloud translation API and how you create a private key this is the endpoints to translate the languages and here is the different ways for uh, different languages to consume this API and we will go with the REST approach this is basically post method and this is the request body in JSON format Q is a array of input text and target is the language code you are targeting to translate this is the response it all show in JSON format let's, let's create an angular application open a command prompt Right called engineer press enter it's asking the name of my application name it ng google translate why yes and press enter application has been created I, I am opening using the Visual Studio code ok this is the new application I just clear all code from app component HTML for look and feel of my app of my application uh, I'll use bootstrap uh, this is why uh, I am going to install the bootstrap npmi bootstrap Dash, dash, save. This indicates to save the bootstrap and jQuery in both in my package JSON file. Both uh, bootstrap and jQuery installed successfully. And now I add the reference into Angular JSON file. Here.
to design this web page i already have some codes i prepared so i copy and paste here and run the application in print start let's fix one issue that's if I use npm start then it will automatically open the browser and by adding here dash o of 400 error so basically i need to add the reference of force module in the app module so let's add This is my web page. Now I am showing that input text can be translated as per the language using Google Translation API. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's open the component TS file. So create constructor here I instantiate the HTTP client of angular this private HTTP is the HTTP client okay In the translate method this method basically invoking from the language chains so let's go back to the um, Google Cloud web page. So th this is basically the endpoint. So I'm going to use um, as per the HTTP, and this is the post method. You know, so post here and the URL. And another key point is that using the key, this key basically authorizes the request and you will get from the Google Cloud website. So key. I'm, uh, I'm storing, my key has been stored in the environment file. So is this private? So I don't want to sh show you. So API key and let's copy the syn syntax of the request body. So. Subscribe the response. So let's go back to the Google Cloud website. Here we see the response under data under translation. There are uh, the response in a uh, array. So I am using the first object of the array. So I can use here my target language. 
the target languages and I only put the one input text this is one input text so I always get the one output so if I check the target language comes from the drop down this is the target language the model of the uh, language drop down and the input text is the model of the uh, input text and the translated text is the model of trans translated text so let's say so i am writing here i am bangladeshi so let's change the language first i change it english so i find i find the same same language same data if I change it Bengali then I find Ami Bangladeshi and if I change the Hindi it, it change in accordance with the language if I change the Spanish it is Spanish and if I change the French it is French if I change the Japanese it is Japanese If I refactor this code, I can create a service here, like g service I can make Google Translate Translation Please enter. service has been added so so I move this I can move this code from here the HTTP client control X Translation service here. So we have to find it. Instead of using HTTP, we are using here full translation service. And the method is translate. Putting the model here into links like model like this and pass the model here.
I hope we'll get the same output. Yes.